Welcome to take two. Apparently my camera didn't like me this morning and cut my video off right when I was ending. So yesterday I showed you this card um, with an ornament from the Dollar Tree. These came in five per pack and these um, snowflakes were I think 12 or 13 per pack. Um, so here we have our ornament. I'm gonna try to do this quickly before my camera decides it doesn't like me again. Um, I use an alcohol marker by Spectrum Noir to color this in. You can use um, Copics, you can use your Sharpies, you can use paint, you could try with watercolors. W whatever medium you like, whatever you enjoy, you could try. I mean, for a dollar, five for a dollar, you can test these out and see how it goes. I wanted to test it out in other things, but apparently my camera had other ideas. So we just color this in. No rhyme or reason. This ink, when once it, it, it goes on this wood, um, it spreads out. So once you get into the top portion here, I would be a little more careful and go like a little under and you see how it spreads into those crevices on the top and then on the this part we're going to use a metallic pen by Spectrum Noir. Now I use um, Spectrum Noir because they're economical. Um, Copic markers are very expensive and I just got ink all over myself. And they do the same kind of job um, to remove alcohol ink. You use alcohol, so I use alcohol as wipes. I don't want that ink spreading on my projects. And then we come back in with the metallic one and just color in the top. Now we're going to end up backing this onto some glitter cardstock. Um, since it does have holes in it, uh, if anything peeks through, you, you'll get some shimmer and shine. So I kind of like that. That's why I cut out the original one. But again, I had to redo it. No, no pen. Outline it. going to cut a little bigger but that's okay because I'll cut it down once I glue it into place. Better to have more than less. Let's try to cut this out fast. Please camera, hold on. Sorry I was out of frame. And um, you can do this in any color. I think any color that shines through it, and anything that complements the ink you use, I guess. But for me, I kind of like the white shining through because it, since the red is pretty dark, I want a good contrast. Okay, almost there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Again, once it's glued on, you're gonna trim it again anyway. Now you take um, your ornament and you add adhesive to the back. I use art glitter glue. It holds very well and it sets up pretty quickly so I'm able to continue my project while it dries because it tacks on. And just get that done. These little pieces are good to go. And it, the wet glue at least gives you time to move it around and get it exactly where you want it. Need to hold it down. Come back, trim it out. I'm not going to be too careful right now because again I want to finish this video before it craps out. Okay. Alright, that's pretty good. I'm 
finish it up later. I oh, know I have to get this. My OCD won't allow me to continue. If you miss any spots, now's the time to get it. That's once you glue the other things in place. Um, you might hide it, you might not. So, um, I'm going to put Santa Claus in this time. Before we put down the ribbon, I would tack him down. Just put enough glue to make sure that he's covered. Eyeball it again and see exactly where you want it. It's good enough for me. And then we can add the banner. This time our ornament is going to hang off a little bit, but that's that's cool. Something different. Doesn't bother me any. So just make sure that on the side that's going to stay on the project, you add plenty of glue. And try not to put glue on the side that's going to hang off so it looks okay on the reverse. And let's get it as close as possible. Let's get that little guy there. And that's how he looks so far. Very cute. Um, they, they came, all the ornaments came with some twine. So let's put the twine in. And then I use the same twine. This twine they could tie up afterwards and, and they could put the ornament on the tree. But I used it to make a bow. So I wouldn't have to add any kind of ribbon or anything. Just use the same stuff that they're going to use to attach it to the tree. Hang it from the tree. All right. And we'll adjust these. So that's what we have so far and then you could um, put it onto a card something like that here's the one that I did in the previous video and that um, didn't work <laughs> and here's the original one so cute ideas I mean, you adhere, you adhere with um, a temporary glue or sticky dots, and they can hang it from a tree. I mean, it's a cute idea. Um, it's something that they can have for years and years. And in the back, you can write a note or, or the date that it was made so they know um, who gave it to them and when. And it, it's a good little memory. I hope this helps. Um, if you make any, please post them. I would love to see it, okay? Have a great one, guys. Bye-bye.